So the Akashic Records, or the Akasha, is sort of like the supercomputer of the universe. That is our hard drive. That is where all of the information and memories and the history of the entire universe are support, supposedly stored. They're in an alternate dimension or plane of existence. They don't exist in physical form here on the planet or anything like that. But they are because they're a different plane of existence or... For some people, they are something that exists within our own minds, like an unconscious type place. Um, but in any case, whether you feel that it's a, it's a thing or a place or a type of material, um, this is, serves as your connection to the divine and to that idea of the compendium of knowledge for all the universe. I don't want to say the human race because a lot of people believe they can connect with um, beings on other planets or in other planes of existence. So it's kind of a big topic. And the reason why I chose this book to for this is because I think the Akashic Records and past lives and past life regression and this idea where metaphysics as a topic and magic and self-help all kind of come together. So a lot of people, myself included sometimes, use magic to further um, personal goals or emotional goals, emotional issues, working through stuff like that. It's basically can be used as part of therapy if you're in that, or as part of emotional well-being or therapeutic work that you do on yourself. And because this has become so popular, I feel like it's something people have a lot of questions about, and it's such a big kind of heavy topic that a lot of people get confused. This book is not confusing, it's so relatable. So that's why I picked it. So according to the book, the Akashic Records are where everything um, is stored. Uh, a quote from the book right near the beginning that I thought was really fun was, the Akashic dimension was created as an interface with the universe or higher knowledge or God or whatever divinical system you believe in, whether that's an actual deity or the idea of energy, it's easy to follow along so so don't get caught up in that it's a any sort of specific religion concept um, so we can count and recount all of our thoughts intentions dreams actions relationships faux pas successes karmic credit cards past lives sneezes farts and coughs very funny so that's what the akashic records are